Hey, Simon here, and today I want to talk about how to scale objects via vertex shader. This, what you can see here, is not a blueprint animation or an object animation. It's done in the vertex shader, and these objects are scaled, um, and they are scaled in local space. So you can rotate them, and it works like you would expect. And I was looking for a solution for that and couldn't find any tutorial, so I do this one and I would love to hear your tips and tricks if you have better solutions for that. Um, the problem was normally you could say, okay, just scale along the vertex normals because for simple objects like a sphere or a cube, this would work perfectly. But for example, on a plane, all the vertex normals in that case would show upwards and so I wouldn't have an idea um, in which direction the y and x axes are pointing. So I have to find out which are these directions in the local space. And I do that with that. I have the object position and subtract the vertex position. And if you preview that here, you see that you get that you get really big values, but at least they are they, they are set up in the correct way that they point into one direction into the positive um, value range and here into the negative. And when you divide that by the object radius, which is of course an approximation but should work more or less, um, what you see is that it gets kind of normalized. And when you just for uh, presentation reasons mask out for one axis and preview that, then you see that you get into a kind of normalized space from 0 to 1 here and from 0 to minus 1 here. And this holds true for the other axis too, for example here. Uh, but this is in world space. If you were to rotate the object, the gradient would always um, point downwards in that case, independent of the object orientation. Before we solve this problem, uh, I want to show you that I also uh, take the object scale uh, in mind so that uh, yeah, that I can scale the objects and everything works as expected. Um, regarding to the problem with the local and world space, uh, I basically use the transform node to convert in world, from world space to local space. And I do this um, separately for all the axes because I want to scale or I want to be able to scale every axis with other values if, if I want to. So what basically happens here, we just ignore the vertex offset for one moment. Basically, I split up x, y, and z axis, multiply by strength value, and then besides, uh, and then I combine all of them together in, into a new vector. And this is just my debug stuff, like uh, a sine curve to have this animation. And then I transform my just created vector here from local space into world space again, and then I put it into the world space offset, and that's it, basically. Mm. <clears throat> One word about the offset. If I would like to do something like um, like that, for example, that I have this noise, this animated noise pattern, and I want to push my plane up and down, right? It doesn't work, because the plane has a, a height, in that case, of zero because it's just a flat plane. So whatever values I get here, I can multiply them by a million, but I always would get zero as a result because of the height of um, zero. So my workaround would be to have this small offset I add. And when I, for example, add here a one, then you see now I can push the uh, the vertices upwards. Of course, this changes also the position of the object um, it's not really well visible here. It gets better visible when I use the sine curve again, because then you see that objects actually yeah, move up and down like here. Um, so it's, it's really a workaround and not a perfect solution. Maybe you have a better solution for that, but I wanted to show my result. And maybe this helps you if you are in the situation that you want to scale an object and don't have the um, possibility to do that via blueprint or object animation or something like that. Yeah, and, and by the way, here you see that this works also for objects which are scaled differently in, in uh, different axes because the cylinder 
is scaled. Let me see. Oh yeah, one one, but in the set axis it's a bit bigger, so it's it's scaled more in that axis. Okay, I would love to hear your feedback. Thanks for watching the video and um, yeah, hopefully see you soon. Bye.